It's a new year, and you've been thinking about all new branding, new demos, new marketing, new business cards. Wait, does anyone actually still use business cards? New website? And who are you going to call for that new website anyway? No, not Ghostbusters. VoiceActorWebsites.com I'm Dan Reed, the voiceover guy. I am here with the team of Voice Actor Websites. Guys... <laughs> I mean, my name is Joe. <laughs> Alex. Karen. Loanne. And I don't have any labs that fit five people. <laughs> Check us out. So my old website was starting to look, well, old. So I wanted a new one. So I started searching online and saw my homie Issa Lopez's website and decided to call her and ask her where she got hers made. She told me, voiceactorwebsites.com. So I went to their website and found a contact and called Joe Davis on the phone. Joe connected me with Alex. Alex connected me with Karen. And bam, I had a new website recently. I sat down with the team to find out how they've won the hearts of so many voice actors. So um, this is a very unique interview because this is the first time that I've ever interviewed four people. Um, this is the most number of friends that I have in life. <laughs> <laughs> four at a time. <laughs> four at a time, right. <laughs> four at a time. That sounds like a different kind of video. <laughs> Uh, as you can tell, this team has a whole lot of fun. And if you've looked at any of the websites that voice actors have, um, this team is responsible for a lot of those websites. And so aside from all the fun that they have, they have a lot of talent. And so I want to thank all of you guys. Usually what I do is one single handshake. Um, but if we can get maybe a gold team or something. <laughs> On a count of three. Who's on top? <laughs> go, 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 <laughs> I'm in the building with the voice actor website team. <laughs> so, um, obviously, you guys have great chemistry, I can tell already. Um, how did this whole voice actor website team and thing come together? Who wants to answer? Just raise your hand like we're in school or something because I have to pass this <laughs> mic. <laughs> or point. <laughs> I'm <Joe>. point. <laughs> so um, it started out with just me. And uh, actually, it's, uh, thanks to Dan Leonard, he, I don't know, 10 years ago maybe, asked me to help him with some of his marketing. Um, did and then ended up getting invited on voiceover body shop which was back then east west audio body shop mm -hmm. ewabs and i uh, thought it was gonna be something fun and interesting and didn't really know where it was gonna go then voice actors started calling and i said all right so there's something here and i spent about a, a year year and a half learning about the voiceover industry i got to a point where i felt i knew close to as much about voiceover as i did about marketing and web development and at that point started a new company um, Karen came on board, and then Alex and Loanne. Um, we actually have a larger team even than this. They're just not here today. Um, and they couldn't fit in the shot. <laughs> <I just wanted. laughs> this is my maximum, and we're not doing this again. <laughs> I worked closely with Karen to get my website done. Karen is a fellow insomniac who worked diligently throughout the night and who was probably really surprised the first time she sent me a message at 3 a.m., and I answered so quickly. I've been on for about four or five years now, and uh, Joe's one of my closest friends, and he wanted to scale the business. So I went to conferences with him, and for about a year, just like him, learned about the industry, saw what it was all about, met people, networked, fell in love with it. The community is amazing. What's your story, Alex? Oh. <laughs> We're getting serious. Talk to me, Alex. <laughs> well, I'm a project manager. Okay. And now I'm doing sales as well. So. Okay. Been able to grow in the position and learn a lot uh, about voiceover, but also about the business. Um, so it's been a great learning experience for me. All right. So what's your role? 
So my role is also a project manager. Okay. And I'm a new member to the team. I've been on for six months now. I also met Joe through a mutual friend and I'm in college for my marketing degree. So okay. I kind of like coincide that and Joe's gracious enough to give me my job. Like who are some of the people that jumped on board early on in adopting voice actor websites? Um, Dan Leonard was mm -hmm. one of the first, actually the first, he was the first voice actor I ever met. Melissa Axelberth, Paul Stricorda, so oh, yeah. the other voice, mm -hmm. um, Debbie Irwin. And later, the list goes on to include people like J. Michael Collins, Christy Bowen, Sophia Cruz, Dave Clark, and me. Did I shamelessly mention my own website yet? What is uh, the distinguishing um, aspects of what you guys do versus um, putting it together yourself or getting someone who does websites but maybe doesn't necessarily specialize in voice actor websites? We've worked with a lot of different people in the industry, casting directors, producers. We've gotten a lot of points of view from other people, you know, what they think is important. Um, obviously, just going to conferences and hearing about the different needs of the industry and mm -hmm. knowing all about it gives you or gives us a unique view into what is needed, right? At its core, every voiceover site should give the talent seeker the ability to hear you and hire you. So those are the two most important things. But then there's all kinds of subtleties, for example, um, making your demos downloadable. So a lot of talent don't think of doing that. Producers and casting directors, a lot of them don't make a decision the first time they listen to something or they think, oh, that person will be good for this other project that I'm working on. So they want to save your MP3. It might seem silly to you know, not think of making your demos downloadable, but it's something that I'd say more than half of people that you see their sites don't have that. Okay? So if um, someone, for example, wants a new voice actor website, what is the process? Typically what we do is we send a Google form um, to gather ideas on the design, you know, what colors they want to use. And then that becomes kind of like the starting point for the conversation with the project manager. Mm -hmm. um, and then the project manager will, will work uh, to assign the designer that fits best for the project and then you know, the process unfolds that way. It's a very collaborative process in that way. So about how long does the process take? Um, let's say if I want a uh, three-page website, uh, I mean, what, what would be the standard? I think that's pretty like dependent on the voice actor okay. because sometimes, you know, they have all the content that they want to put on their site ready to go and you can, you know, have a site launch for you know, two weeks. So it just depends on you know, what they're willing to give us mm -hmm. as well. Right, so it's based, it's itself based in that way and that mm -hmm. the, the client provides the content mm -hmm. and then we turn that into a, a website. So it's, a, it's dependent on that open line of communication. Mm -hmm. It also depends partially on where someone is in their career. Are they just starting out? Have they been doing this for 20 years or somewhere in between? Because they're going to have a different body of work and probably a different goal for the site. Mm -hmm. Also, the, the two basic types of sites that voice actors have are either extension of the business card, meaning you've had some sort of prior interaction with the person that you're, you're sending the site to, and um, you're sending them there to hear you and ideally hire you, right? And the other is more of a, an SEO-driven site where you haven't interacted with the person before, and you're trying to get them there based on a search that they did, and have them listen to you and hear you and hire you. So the, the first type of site, the um, extension of the business card, it could be one page, two page, five page. I wouldn't do, you know, 500 pages, but um, probably between one and five pages would be average. An SEO site, the bigger the better. Google is at its core kind of a, a relevancy engine and a popularity contest. Okay. And so the, the relevancy engine portion of it is the more relevant your result is to a searcher's intent, the more likely it'll come up. Meaning if someone's searching for um, pharmaceutical commercial voiceover and you have a website about voiceover, is it relevant? Yeah, but could it be more relevant? Absolutely. So then let's say you have it broken up into the different genres that you do. A page for commercial, a page for corporate narration, a page for e-learning, a page for IVR. Google looks at that and says, all right, the site's about voiceover and it's about commercial. Is it relevant? Yes, but could it be even more relevant? Yeah. So then now let's say you have a tertiary level of navigation where commercials broken up into kids commercials and automotive commercials and pharmaceutical commercials. 
And each one of those pages has audio content and text content and supports that narrative that you are a voice actor that does commercial work and whatever that subgenre is, in this case, pharmaceutical. So Google looks at that and says, wow, it's about voiceover, it's about commercial, and it's about pharmaceutical. It becomes perhaps the most relevant result on the internet. Hanging out with the team from Voice Actor Websites, I learned so much. How Google serves up information about your website is so important to your business. It's certainly important to mine. So what do you guys think it is that makes this whole thing work? At least for me, my experience working at the company has been a part of an experience because the personal connections that we've built with our clients, but with each other, it is what really makes us a success, thank goodness, because it, it, people see us as people. Uh, we're a small business as well, so we understand that when clients are investing in their websites, they're also small businesses. So we come with that experience. and. Uh, and we make friendships. We make yeah. awesome friends. Yeah, we make awesome <laughs> friends. And, and we see them at conferences. It's like a reunion. It is really special. Um, and I think it's, it speaks to the VO community. There's something unique about it. Very special. So, yeah. I, I'm, I teared up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you have uh, incredible energy. And, um, you know, just seeing the team together. Um, because I'm used to talking to Karen yeah. uh, on the phone at two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that she's like, "What are you doing up?" I'm like I'm never sleep. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, just to see you guys um, here together, working together. When I came, you were on your laptops. Um, it looked like you were watching YouTube, not working. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> So one last question. Obviously, here's the answer. It's it's quite easy. Where do we find you guys if you want a voice actor website? <laughs> One, two, three. Voiceactorwebsites.com. Voice <laughs> I'm Dan Reed, the voiceover guy with the voice actor website, guys. <laughs> and girls. And girls. <laughs> and gals. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, you, you just run things. I'll just I'll just sit back on the couch. <laughs> so Dave, how's it to interview us? <laughs> Quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.